Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Zenith Minis. My name is Greg and this is Zenith's Quick Tips. Short videos that focus on how to paint specific things. And for this episode, we're looking at how to paint black armor, but by only using three colors. It's a simple but effective way to paint Death Watch, Black Templars, and even the Black Legion heresy, I know. So before the Inquisition starts paying me a bit too much attention, let's get stuck into the footage. I've sprayed the model with Chaos Black and then applied a base coat of Abaddon Black. If you want to see how to spray and undercoat your models, then just check the link above. Once you're happy with your base coat, then you'll need Thunderhawk Blue and a sharp brush. To highlight, you'll firstly need to use the edge of the brush to pick up any of the rivets, and then simply run the edge of the brush alongside those armour panels to highlight them. Make sure your paint flows freely from your brush with little resistance. If it is a bit of a challenge, then you may need to thin down your paint more with a medium or with water. You can repeat this process for the other panels, however for the knee pad you'll need to paint more freely. We're aiming to create a uniform line, so with a steady hand, use the brush to follow the circular shape of the pad. Depending on how confident you are with the brush, or how steady your hand is, you may want to paint the pad in quarters, and to do this, you just want to paint it a quarter at a time. So starting at the centre, move the brush along and flick out when you get to about quarter of the way. Then repeat this four times until the pad is fully highlighted. Now that one leg is done, we're going to repeat the exact same process on the other leg. Once again, you just need to run your brush along the edges of the armour to paint your highlight. If you make any mistakes, don't worry, you can always tidy them up with Abaddon Black. Highlighting this way can leave you with crisp lines and can be often done fairly quickly. However, like the knee pad, there are some curves that you can't easily edge highlight in the way we've just demonstrated. So when highlighting those lines, place your brush towards the central point and follow the line of your armour from the inside to the out. Now that the highlighting is all done, we're going to finish up with a spot highlight of Fenrisian Grey. Much in the same way as we edge highlighted those raised armour panels, we just want to catch the extremes like rivets or corners with the edge of our brush. I thinned down my grey so when I apply a spot there's no resistance to its application. As you can see these small final touches really helps bring the armour to life and it doesn't take much time at all to move around the model to paint them on. Once one leg is done, then it's time for the next, and remember there's no need to go overboard, just select spots that may be prone to catching and reflect in a light source. The great thing about painting in three colours is that you can get things done very quickly, and even if you change your colour scheme, you can still use the exact same steps as we've been through today. And guys, that is the black complete. Hope you've enjoyed, hope you found it useful. Drop me a like if you have, leave any thoughts or suggestions in a comment below, and subscribe if you want to. If you want to see more, then check out my other videos, but that is it for today, so thank you all for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.